Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Sheep's Head. Uh, now, Sheep's Head is a simple card game. Um, it's actually a German card game. Um, and it's very, very, very popular in Germany. And so if you know anybody who is German, um, if you have any, uh, I guess, German family members, or if you've simply just uh, been to Germany, uh, then you've probably heard of and played this game. Um, and so, in English, it's called Germ's Head, uh, Sheep's Head. Um, but in German, uh, the name is much harder to say. Um, and it's actually a different name. Um, and so, what you'll need is a 32-card deck. That would be your aces down to the sevens. Um, and so, there is a screen in front of us here, and we'll talk about this. Um, but what you need is a 32 card deck. So that's your aces down to the sevens. So the twos through the sixes are removed. Um, Sheep's Head is a strict five player game. Uh, if you looked hard enough, you could probably find a way to play it uh, with a different number of players. Uh, but most commonly it's played with five players and here we'll also be doing a demonstration with five players. And you'll also need to be able to keep score. And so each player is dealt six cards. Um, three cards at a time. So three cards to each player, two cards to the middle, and then three cards to each player. Um, and so, um, I, obviously, if each player is dealt th uh, six cards, right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And so we have our uh, six cards here. Um, and the objective of the game is to actually win 61 or more uh, card points in a round. Uh, card points are awarded based on the value of the cards won in the tricks taken. And so the total points possible by cards are 120 points each round. And so, right, the main objective is obviously to win 61 or more points in a round. Uh, points are awarded based on the value of the cards, right? So you want to uh, obviously take tricks with higher value cards, right? You want to win tricks that have higher value cards. Um, and so the cards are ranked in a strange, uh, peculiar manner. Um, and what I'll do is I'll actually, um, give me a second here, I'll put the ranking on the side. Okay, and you'll notice we have a different screen here, that's just because I rebooted it. Um, and so cards are ranked uh, in a special way. Um, the trump rank. Um, and so, all the queens act as the highest value trump cards. So the Queen of Clubs is the highest value trump card in the entire game. Um, and if you look on the right, obviously, followed by the Queen of Spades, um, then the Queen of Hearts, uh, then the Queen of Diamonds. Um, you also have the Jacks, right? So the Queens and the Jacks are your highest value uh, cards. All the Jacks are also considered part of the trump rank. So your Jack of Clubs, then you're followed by your Jack of Spades, followed by your Jack of Hearts, then followed by your uh, Jack of Diamonds. Um, and so, uh, the general ranking is just clubs, spades, hearts, diamonds. Um, then after that, uh, your trump rank is uh, diamonds. Um, and so, <laughs> it's quite strange, right? I just said tra I just said um, clubs, spades, hearts, diamonds, but that's for your queen and your jack. Um, then your general trump rank is diamonds. So you'd have your ace, then then your ten of diamonds, then your king, then your nine, then your eight, then your seven. So it's quite weird, right? Like, it's so unconventional. It doesn't follow any other card game. Uh, and I don't know why it's ranked like this, but that's just how it is. Um, you also have your non-Trump cards, and those are ranked uh, Ace, 10, King, 9, 8, 7. Uh, in terms of your non-Trump suit, uh, clubs are stronger than spades, and spades are stronger than hearts. So clubs, spades, then hearts for your non-Trump suit. And so... Uh, what happens is the uh, player left of the dealer, um, in this case, um, I guess it would have been John, because John is the dealer. Um, and so the player left of the dealer, in this case Mary, um, has, the fir has the first option to take the two cards in the middle to become the picker or pass on picking. A uh, player should become the picker if they think they can win 61 or more card points in the round. Um, the picker gets a partner for the round. Uh, the picker and the partner's card points are combined, 
And the other three players are on a team for a round and will combine their card points. So it becomes a three versus two. The picker picks a partner by calling a non-Trump ace in a suit that matches a non-Trump card in hand. In this case, Mary called AS, ace of spades. Um, so she called a non-Trump ace, right? Because an ace of spades is not the ace of diamonds. Um, so she called a non uh, non-Trump ace, the ace of spades. And that means it would match a non-Trump card in her hand. In a suit that matches a non-Trump card in her hand. So that means she has his spade and she called it for ace of spades. The player who has the ace of spades is Mary's partner. After a partner is picked, um, I mean, players will not know who the partner is until the ace is played. So if I look at my hand, I know that I'm not the partner. Um, uh, I know that Ed, it could be Ed, Lindsay, or John, right? Uh, they could be Mary's partner. Just one of them has the ace of spades. I know it's not me. Um, after a partner is picked, two cards are buried by the picker. Uh, these two cards count towards the picker's card point total. Um, and so uh, that's just the general gist of it. And so what? What? let's just talk about what that means. Um, and so after a partner is picked, two cards are buried by the picker. And these two cards count towards the picker's card point total. Um, and so the picker's card point total, um, well, that would be, um, if you think about it, um, essentially rate, uh, cards are scored uh, based off of uh, a certain value on the top right there, as you can see. Um, and so if you bury two cards, um, it's essentially guaranteed. You're guaranteed to score them. And so obviously, uh, you want to bury the cards that will give you the uh, largest value of points. And so you'd want to bury your aces and tens, right? That way you're guaranteed to score them. Um, otherwise, if a player takes them, if another team takes them in a trick, they'll score a lot of points for them. So if you bury them, uh, you can guaranteed score for them. And so the player left of the dealer leads the first trick. Uh, every player is required to play a card in the same suit. Um... And so Ed became the picker, I believe, uh, as you can see here. Um, and so, uh -huh, well, that was my apologies. Uh, just just by that P there, uh, Ed became the picker. Um, and so somebody is Ed's partner, right? Um, and so the player left of the dealer leads the first trick. In this case, that would be Mary. Um, and every player is required to play a card in the same suit as the card led. And so if I have a spade, I must play it. Notice I can't just play a clover. Um, okay, I, I guess it let me play a clover. <laughs> it let me play clover there. Um, okay, so John led diamonds, right? Uh, we know this because... Um, okay. It let me lead a clover there. Uh, this is a common misconception players have. It let me lead a clover there. You might say, okay, well, she led with a spade. Why don't you play the spade? Do note, look on the right. The jack of spades is part of the trump rank. The trump rank being uh, diamonds. And so if you play a jack of spades, the jack of spades counts as a diamond. Uh, and so the diamond would not match the spade. And so I, I, did not, I don't have any spade. And so I was just allowed to play any card I wanted. Uh, so look here, John played the Queen of Hearts, but the Queen of Hearts counts as part of the Trump rank, so John played a Queen of Diamonds. And so you must play uh, a card in the same suit as the first card played whenever possible. If a player does not have a card in the lead suit, he or she can play any card. The winner of the trick is the player with the highest ranking Trump suited card. In this case, that's a Queen of Hearts right there. The only way to beat that would be with a Queen of Clovers or a Queen of Spades. I don't have any of that. I know that I'm going to lose a trick. I must play a Diamond, right? Well, I'm going to play my lowest value diamond and so the winner of the trick is a player with the highest ranking trump suited card um, if no trump suited card is played uh, then the winner of the trick is a player with the highest ranking card in the lead suit the player that wins the trick leads the next trick standard for every single trick taking game that's just how tricks are taken um, and that, that stays consistent for pretty much every card game um, and so what do you do you just take tricks like this, and you just play until um, all players run out of cards. It's literal, literally that simple. So you have a picker, um, right? The player left of the dealer gets the first choice on being the picker. If they choose not to, then they don't have to. Um, 
The picker picks a partner by calling out an ace in a non-trump suit. The player who has the ace in the non-trump suit is a partner. The picker and the partner uh, are in a two versus three. The three players on the other team are trying to have more points than uh, the picker and the partner. And the picker and the partner are trying to score more than 61 points. That's the basic essence of it. Other than that, now you just have to take tricks. So what we are going to do is we are going to finish taking tricks here. Um, and so John led it with a diamond, a queen of diamond. The only way to beat that is with a queen of hearts, a queen of spades, or a queen of clubs. We don't have any of them. And so we are going to play our lowest value diamond here. Because we know that we lost the trick anyway. John led with a king of hearts. What do we do now? Uh, we do have, we don't have a heart. And so we can play any card. Um, I do know that the jack of heart, I, I, I know that you might say, oh, while well, you're playing the heart because it matches the suit. No, this is actually part of the trump rank. And so it would be a jack of diamond. The reason I'm playing it is because it is my lowest ranking trump card, right? I have a jack of clubs and a jack of spades, both of which are higher ranked. You look on the right. Um, and that was my lowest ranking trump card, but um, it beat the jack of diamond played by Ed. And so I won that trick there. So now it's my turn to lead the trick. I'm going to lead with a jack of spades. Ed played a queen of spades, right? That is higher value. That is a second highest value card. And so Ed won that trick. Now Ed played the queen of cl uh, clubs. And that's impossible to beat. So Ed is going to win. And so now let's see the score. Now, I'm quite confused about uh, this Lindsay individual. Uh, <laughs> I did not see her. Um, but let's just talk about the scoring here. Um, and so at the end of the round, players count the card points. One, I, I don't know why there are six people here. Like, I, I didn't see the sixth person. Uh, and so just to just dismiss that. Um, but let's just talk about what's happening here. Um, at the end of the round, players count the card points won during the round, um, and the picker adds the cards buried at the beginning of the round. And so, uh, based on the top right, each ace is scored for 11, each 10 is scored for 10, each king is scored for 4, each queen is scored for 3, each jack is scored for 2. And so even though the queens and jacks are powerful, you can't really score, you can win tricks with them, but you can't really score too many points. Uh, with them alone and so players receive game points based on the amount of card points won during the round by the picker and the partner and so if the picker and the partner if the picking team i guess in this case right um wins 120 points or all tricks as it states on the slide there uh then the picker the partner and the other players uh, get negative three in this case um they were between uh, the score of 91 and 120. Thus, the picker receives a score of 4, right? Ed has a score of 4 right here because they're between the range of 91 and 120, as shown on the right. Uh, the partners get a score of 2, right? John gets a score of 2. I have no clue what this is. This is not, this is not an individual. Um, and so John gets a score of 2. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry, sorry. Blind. Sorry, guys, I apologize. Blind is the cards that they buried uh, during the beginning of the game. Um, it adds up to 15, so I'm just assuming that it's an ace and a king, right? You want to bury the highest value cards you can. And so these are the two cards that the picker, Ed, buried during the game to help them. So this 15 added gives them a score of 102. Um, and so th it's, just, it's just John and Ed and the picking pile. And then we have Mary, me, and Lindsay. Now, since we're in the range of 91 to 120, as seen on the chart on the right, uh, on the chart on the right, sorry, um, the other players on the losing team, right, um, obtain a score of negative 2. And so I have negative 2, Lindsay has negative 2, and Mary has negative 2. Now let's play another round. So Mary is the dealer, and it says, would you like to be the picker? And so, do note that players receive game points based on the amount of card points won during the round by the picker and the partner, as well as the amount of card points buried. Uh, the game can be played until a player gets to an agreed-upon amount, or until an agreed-upon amount of rounds have been played. 
Note that I said the arbitrary amount of 61. Look on the right. If you get below 61, the picker and the partner actually lose points. So uh, you only want to be a picker if you think you can score above 61. Um, do you remember that a player must follow the lead suit if possible? Um, remember that all queens, jacks, and diamonds are considered the trump suit. Uh, the non-trump ace called for a partner. Uh, can only be played when the corresponding suit has been led, or if it is the last trick of the round. Um, and so the non-trump ace, which is called for, right? So let's say you call for the ace of spades. You cannot lead with the ace of spades. You you can only play it um, when another, another spade has been played, right? It cannot be used to lead a trick unless it is the last trick. Um, and that's basically it. So how do you play sheep's head? Well... Six cards to each player. Um, two cards to the middle. The picker buries um, two cards. Um, the picker calls out for a partner by calling out a non-trump ace. It, then it, it is then a 2v3 with the picker and partner team trying to win more tricks than the other team. Um, and the team with the certain... I guess the player, right? Because the, the partner, the teams do switch each round. Um, the player with who hits the certain number of points first uh, wins the wins the game. Do note that the picker has the most risk, and so they have the highest gain or swing in uh, in points. And so what we'll do here is we look at our hand and we say, do we want to pick? Um, I'm going to go with no. I do not want to. Uh, let's see here. We do have an ace that we can hopefully score for. Uh, and so what I'll do, I'd have to call out an ace for a non-trump suit. So the only ace that I could call out, I already have the ace of spades. The only ace I could call out would be the ace of hearts. I cannot call out an ace for the trump suit, which is diamonds. Um, and so I'd have to call out an ace for a non-trump suit. And we'll pick here. Um. Select two cards to place in. Um, we will place uh, our ace as well as our ten here. Our ace as well as our ten. Um, and so the two cards in uh, in your hand, right? And so you swap. You basically swap with the two cards in the middle, and you take those and put them in your hand. Uh, do note that there were two cards in the middle at the beginning, and the picker swaps with the two cards in the middle. Um, and now, so what we have to do is we have to call out a non-Trump ace. Um, so those are the blind. Um, We'll go with the uh the, the ace of clubs. We'll go with the ace of clubs. I said the ace of clubs. Add led a club. Um and so I do have to follow, right? I cannot just play a queen, right? No, look, it's not a playable card. Whenever I have the lead suit, I have to follow the lead suit. John won the trick. John led with a diamond. I have to play a diamond whenever I have a diamond. Queen of hearts beats the queen of diamonds, so I'm not going to play a high value diamond. I will play a low value diamond. We need let a spade. I don't have a spade. So I'll play my queen of diamonds. Winning the trick. Now. I'll play the Queen of Spades. No, 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 I just don't. Okay. Um, so Ed won that trick. I actually meant to play the Queen of Spades on that last one there. This might come back to bite us. So, the picking team. It was me and John. Do you know that my blind, the cards I placed in the blind greatly helped us out right i like i said you always want to place cards uh you want to place your highest value card point cards in the blind 
or I guess bury them uh, because they, you can guarantee a score for them, right? And so we got a guaranteed 21 there, 11 from the ace, 10 from the 10. And note that we barely got past 61. And so that means the picker gets two points. So my score goes back to zero. Um, John scores one point. And then the rest is as follows, right? Then uh, the other players get less than one. Um, and so should we go again? Would we like to pick? Uh, I'd only pick if I had a very high high value hand. I don't have any aces or tens. And so I'm not going to pick here. And so I think you can sort of see the gist of uh, of how to play. Um, it's, it's quite a, quite a simple game, right? Once again, let's sum it up. Six cards to each player, two cards in the middle. Picker swaps his two highest value card point cards with the card in the middle. With the cards in the middle, the picker calls out a partner, an ace of a non-trump suit. That person is a partner. It is a 2v3. The objective is to score the most points by winning the most tricks. That's literally it. Uh, and so, John picked. Uh, the called card is uh, an ace of hearts. We don't have an ace of hearts, and so we cannot be John's partner. That means we know that Lindsay, Ed, or Mary is John's partner. What we will do here is we will lead uh, with the queen of hearts. I think that's a, val a safe bet, and so we won that trick. What we will do now is we will uh, lead with the king of king of clubs so both players played maybe led with a diamond i don't even have a diamond and so i will play my lowest value card so hopefully you can sort of just see uh see the gist here of uh how to play um do note And so do note uh, that the trick I won had a value of 35, right, in terms of card points. So that means it must have had a lot of aces or tens. So the picking team did incredibly bad. So that means John. And honestly, it's up just up to the discretion of the picker, right? The partner can't pick if they want to be the partner or not. If the picker calls out the ace and they have it, they are the partner. And so the picker must make sure that they do not choose to be a picker. Uh, when they when they aren't playing wisely, and so just look at this logic, guys. John was picker, and the cards he put into the blind were didn't have any score, and so he probably put a nine and eight or a seven in, which is very 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 dumb. Do not do that. Um, and so uh, do note that uh, there since their score was from zero to thirty, um, the picker received a score of minus eight. Uh, the partner received a score of minus four, in this case, Ed, and all other players received a score of four added to their current score. Lindsay passed, Mary passed, Ed picked. The calls, it's the ace of hearts, that's the called card. Um, and so, um, do note that uh, a diamond was led, and so we do have to play our diamond. In this case, I played my uh, queen in case, because I wanted to win that hand. Uh, do note uh, that what we'll do here is we'll play our uh, ten of clubs. So Lindsay won. A queen of hearts was played. That cannot be beat. And so what I will do is I will play my... Uh, I have to play a diamond when I have it. Ah, that's unfortunate. They just scored a lot there. Um, he led with a heart. I don't have a heart, and so I can play any card now. You have to follow lead suit when you can. Um, but if you don't have a card in the lead suit, then you do not have to play in the lead suit. Um, and so, Ed... Um, bled with a heart, right? I have to play my only card I have. And so Lindsay took this. And now let's see the score. So the picking team did extremely well. Extremely, extremely well. Uh, Lindsay won a lot of tricks. And so my team did quite bad. Uh, 
Um, and so you can sort of, sort of see how to play Sheep's Head, right? It's quite a simple game. Um, the basic summary is just to determine a picker and a partner, and then just win as many tricks as you can, trying to win more card points than the other team. Do you remember that two cards are buried into the blind, r swapped f uh, with the cards from the middle? Um, and so that wraps up how to play Sheep's Head. It's quite a simple game. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.